this video is on finding the sample variance, sample standard deviation, population variance, and population standard deviation. I'm going to start off by doing number five here, sample standard deviation. The symbol for sample standard deviation is S. After this problem, we're going to do sample variance. And the sim symbol for sample variance is S squared. So if you find standard deviation, all you have to do is square it to find the sample variance. Well, if you look at four and five, they have different data. So we're going to do number five first. First, I'm going to add in my data. To add in my data into a list, I'm going to hit Control Document. Number one, new. Uh, and we're going to go to number four. In reality, we didn't have to hit control there because we added our first page. We could have just hit document. Um, so I'm going to label column A as list one, L1. In column A, we have 15, 22, 28, 16, and 18. So this is the information, the data from problem five. Okay, if I come over here to the right uh, in a blank spot, just like we did mean and median, um, I'm going to have the calculator do calculations to calculate this. To do this, we go to menu, number four, statistics, number one, stat calculations, and then number one, one variable statistics. Uh, there's only one list, we hit OK, and we're getting our list from L1. When I hit OK, our information is over here where we said it would. Remember, this is where our data was in L1. To the right, if I scroll down, I'm looking for the symbol sample standard deviation S. And right there is the S, SX. So on a calculator is SX, but the symbol for sample standard deviation is S. And our answer is 5.31. If we look at the answer key down here, it says 5.3 is the correct answer. So we got that one right. Now, there's something else I want to show you. Let's say they wanted us to do variance. Variance is S square. We did sample standard deviation, which was S, but there's no S square on here. What you can do is just take this number, 5.31037, and square it. Uh, another easier way to do that is create a new page. So hit Control Document, and we're going to add a calculator page. Add calculator. So we page one was our data and our calculations that we put in there. Page one point two is our calculations page. Now. We already found out that our, our standard deviation was 5.3. I want to show you that uh, another way of doing that. Hit this variable button down here, var, and scroll down to you see stat sx right there. If I click on it and hit enter, there's that 5.3 again. Now, that's sample standard deviation. If I want to find sample variance, remember it's S square. So I go back to var. I go to my stat SX, and then I square it. I'm going right here is a but the arrow up button. I'm going to raise it to the second power. 
And when I hit enter, the top one is the standard deviation. The next one is the variance. Okay, now for question five, they didn't ask for variance, but I did show you how to do that. That's going to help us for question four. Okay, so let's try question four now. I'm going to get out of here. I'm not going to save this. I'm going to go to a new spreadsheet. I'm going to still label it L1, and I'm going to enter in my data for question four. And remember, question four says sample variance. So variance is S square. The data that they want me to enter is 27. I'm doing number four now. 12, 34, 14, and 20. You have to have the calculator do the calculation. So over here on the blank spot, C1, I'm going to go to menu, number four, statistics, number one, stat calculations, and number one, one variable stats. There's one list I'm working from, and that list is in L1. I hit OK. And it tells me what S is, but it doesn't tell me what S square is. So I'm going to create a new page, a calculator page, control doc, number one calculator, and I'm going to square the S. So I go to variable, I want to find that S again, stat S X, that's the standard deviation. And then I want to square it. And by the way, instead of raising it to the second power, you can just click on this one, x square. It squares it for you automatically. Hit enter. And our answer is 83.3. Our sample variance, which is s squared, is 83.8. Sorry. And if we look at our answer down here, our answer shows. 83.8 for sample variance. So the only thing you really need to know, and I would write this down, is sample standard deviation, the symbol is S. Sample variance, the symbol is S square. And you can't find S square on your calculator, so you have to take S and square it. Okay, we just did sample variance and sample standard deviation. Now we're doing population variance and population standard deviation. So the symbol for population standard deviation is this right here. And it's pronounced sigma. Population variance is sigma squared. Okay, so um, we're going to do number four first, and then we're going to do number one. So let me get my calculator. We're going to get rid of everything that we had before. I'm going to add in a new number four list. I'm going to label this column L1. And for number four, the data is 10, 26, 30, 16, and 21. Except I think I just typed it in uh, wrong. 10. 26, 30, 16, and 21. Okay, in order for your calculator to do the calculations, you have to there we go. You have to come over here and click on an empty space and have your calculator do the calculations. Going to menu, number four, statistics, 
number one, stat calculations, and then number one, one variable stats. The one is there, hit OK, and we're getting our data from L1. When we hit OK, right here is our sigma. That is population standard deviation. If you look at our answer, our answer is 7.088, rounded to one decimal place, 7.08 rounded to one decimal place is 7.1. So we did get that answer. All right, next I'm gonna do population variance for number one. So I have to put this new data in here. I'm gonna erase all my other data by just hitting the X. And do you wanna save it? I'm saying no. I'm gonna do new data, number four, spreadsheet. I'm gonna call this list one. And I'm putting in the data from question one, 26, 28, 16, 23, and 20. I'm gonna click over to the right and any blank spot. Menu, number four, statistics. Number one, stat calculations. Number one, variable stats. The one is there, hit okay. And we're getting our data from L1. Now, once again, we're doing population variance. This symbol is the sigma is population standard deviation. We have to square that. In order to square that, it's the easiest way is to add a new page, add a calculator page. Control, document, number one, add a calculator. So the calculator has done the calculations in that spot already where we had it in the data. Now I just go to variable. And from all my data, I want to go to the sigma. Once again, this is population standard deviation. In order for us to get population variance, we have to square this data, then hit enter. And our answer is 18.2, two decimal places, 18.2, and sure enough, the answer is 18.2 for population variance. This has been a video on finding standard deviation and variance for, for a sample or for a population. I hope this video helped.